For the first time in history, a president of the United States visits the Mexican capital. President Miguel Aleman welcomes President Truman on his good neighbor tour of three days south of the border. Official Mexico greets Mr. Truman, and a specially constructed tribunal is the scene of a presentation whereby the United States Chief Executive is honored by the governor of the federal district, Fernando Casas Aleman. Mr. Truman receives the order of the Aztec Eagle, Mexico's highest award, and the keys to the city. Further honors are heaped upon the president during a festival at the National Stadium. A program of gymnastics and dancing organized by the Ministry of Public Education is attended by the heads of both governments. Later, Mr. Truman placed a wreath at the foot of Mexico's Monument of Independence, attended state dinners, and saw the awe-inspiring Paracutin volcano. The goodwill visit proved very popular and drew a great holiday crowd that voted Mr. Truman muy simpatico. The president reaffirmed our non-intervention policy in Mexican affairs and further cemented inter-American relations when he pointed out how closely linked are the economies of Mexico and the United States. He also remarked on the outstanding progress being achieved by the Mexicans. A living American flag graces the stadium grounds during the ceremonies attended by the two chief executives. President Aleman, who only lately became head of the Mexican government, also sees a living symbol of his country, which joins with its northern neighbor in a token of friendship.